Hey everybody, Patton here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at BS Shubibin Man Zero, requested by Patricio Andres. I did take a look at this game once already, but I got it to work, and I'll show you how. So this is one of those Satellaview games that we didn't get over here in the States. Had to do with that system where you downloaded games via satellite onto your system. Well, now you can play it. When I was researching on how to get it done, I found a Reddit post by somebody named Yappy939 who patched it so it would run correctly. So I'll have a link in my description for the patch and for the IPS patcher so you can patch your own copy. So let's get started. First step is to hack your classic system if you haven't already. I will have a tutorial in my description on how to do that. Once you have your system hacked, you're gonna open up your version of HackGC. Go to the modules tab and to the mod store. You're gonna click on the RetroArch tab, highlight the newest version of RetroArch Neo, hit the button right here that says download module. After that's finished, go to the RetroArch Core section. You want to scroll down to the Super Nintendo section. We want SNES 9X 2002. Once again, hit the Download Module button. Close the Mod Store. Go back into your Modules tab, install extra modules. You're going to make sure there's a check mark next to RetroArch if you haven't installed that already. And SNES 9X 2002, then hit the OK button. After you hit this OK button, a bar will appear on your screen. It'll start to fill in. And when it's finished, it means that these cores are installed to your system and they're ready to be used. So now let's patch our game. So three things we have right here. We have our game file, we have our patch, and we have our patching application. And open up your patcher. Click apply IPS patch. You're gonna navigate to the folder where you have your patch. It is right here, click open. And then you're gonna navigate to the folder where your game is, same thing. Click open one more time. You should get a notification that the patching was complete. Now that we patched our game, let's add it to HackG. Simply go to add more games, navigate to wherever you have your patched ROM, and click open. It'll be added to the top of your list. So now we have to change the command line so it runs with SNES 9x02. So we're gonna take out the 9x, I'm gonna add 02. That should be fine right there. We're gonna Google for some box art real quick. So the last step is to hit the synchronize button if you're moving the game to your system or the export games button if you're using a flash drive. So that's all there is to it. Let's head over to the SNES Classic and see how Kaizo Chojin Shubibin Man Zero runs. All right, here we go, Shubibin Man zero now i did have a version of this game that i tried just playing regular and i couldn't get past this title screen apparently this game is one or two players nice but you can see here we made it past the building exploding in the background there's some dummies and a laughing woman who is dressed well very provocatively those guys are really into it though but wait oh there's our wannabe mega man with no helmet so this is a cool little game you got your jumps you got your attacks, uh, you got your ducking attacks, if you hold down the button, you do the hadouken, and you got a dragon punch. So there's a lot of combo kind of stuff going on in this game. Come here, guy. Like that. Then you just collect things like a, a game cassette. The hadouken for you, sir. I'm gonna grab these coins and jewels. And some gold, okay. What is that there? Play Plasma Catcher. Oh, can't dragon punch into that guy. He's bouncing too much. Maybe. Oh, we got him. We did okay. Got a coin for that, okay. Because dragon punches are just so easy to do naturally. They don't require training or anything. Oh, well, now we're in a new area, it looks like. Oh, trucks, S oh, sneak truck attack. No, no, we can't have that. There was a coin in there. Sweet. All right. This time I will do the sneaking. Ha ha! Wow, that combo. Okay. Too bad it doesn't show your combo counter. That would be cool. Whoa, okay. Oh, now we got guys throwing pickaxes. Because that's what I need. This kind of reminds me of Hammer and Harry and Mega Man and Street Fighter. Pretty sure this is not a game by Capcom. I didn't catch who made this. Oh, we got a Super Famicom. Oh, well, that's great. Hope that gave me lots of points. Oh, we have a guy with a gun now. Okay, well, he's no match for my dodging abilities. Just gonna, just gonna, yep, all right. And then we'll just do a little of that. Okay, really good uh, henchman you got there. Doing a great job. Oh, it's the lady. Are we gonna fight the lady? She's just gonna laugh at us. Wow, I don't like her too much. I guess we're- oh, she's gonna have somebody come and fight me. Who is it? Oh, what are you? You look like you're from... 
something else. Okay. That's a vector man wannabe. Took him out pretty good. Oh, there's your eyes. Sir, your eyes. All right, so we beat the first level. Sweet. All right, so there was Shoe Bibbin Man Zero on the uh, Satella View Super Nintendo. Thank you, Patricio Andres, for the request, and thank you, Yappy939, for creating this patch to get it working on the system. If there's any games you want me to check out on the system, feel free to fill out the form in my description, and I'll get to it as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.